Hello, I welcome all of you in my channel Engineering and Info. Today I will let you know that how we will calculate the quartile inclusive and quartile exclusive. What is the difference between quartile inclusive and quartile exclusive? First of all, I will let you know that the, there are three basically functions that are used or command that are used in the Excel in order to find the quartile. Look at this. The function, the first function is quartile e dot exe it is used for quartile exclusive the second function is quartile inc it is used for quartile inclusive and the third function is quartile the most important thing is that a quartile and the quartile dot inc quartile inclusive are the same thing okay so first of all i will what you i will use the quartile and let you know that the quartile and the quartile inclusive are the same thing so I will have the formula saying select the array. So this is my array or this is my data. Then I will the quartile. Then the formula says which quartile you need. So I need my first quartile. I will write one. Close the brackets. Press enter. I got my first quartile. Then I will verify whether the first that whether the formula of the quartile and the first quartile is same or not. So I will write again quartile dot inc. I will select the array. Array means the data, and then I press the comma. Then again, I will have to select the first quartile. Uh, find the first quartile. So I will select one. Then bracket close. Look at this. We got the same values. Same as the case. I will do it uh, for Q2 or Q quartile number two is the median. So I will select the data. I will press the two that I need uh, median. So look at this. And then I will find again the median using the quartile inclusive command and it will be result same and it will result in 52. Look at this. We got 52. Then I will find the quartile number three using the quartile command. So uh, for the quartile command, I will select the data, then press the three means the third quartile. So enter 55 here. It will also become as 55 look at this i select the data then press the third quartile we got 55 then how we will find the interquartile the interquartile will be found out as it is written that we will have to subtract the third uh, first quartile from the thir uh, third quartile so i will select first the third quartile minus first quartile it will become 5.5 same as the case i will do here i will subtract the first quartile from the third quartile. So I will select one first, the third quartile minus uh, first quartile. Okay, just look at this. So like this, we have calculated the first quartile, second quartile, third quartile, and interquartile range for the same data by using you uh, two different commands. Now I will I will find the quartile exclusive values, and then I will let you know that what is the difference between quartile exclusive and quartile inclusive so the formula for the quartile ex uh, exclusive is quartile dot exc then again the procedure is same you will have to select the data then for the first quartile you will write one bracket close for the same you will have to write the same formula for the second quartile select the data press the two for the second quartile second quartile is over median also then write quartile exclusive and select the data press comma three bracket close and then uh, find the third quartile by subtracting the q3 minus q1 okay so look at there there is a huge difference between the between all of the values between quartile inclusive and quartile exclusive now i am ending with this video by uh, the last difference between quartile inclusive and quartile exclusive the difference is that quartile inclusive includes the first and the last value in the calculation while the quartile exclusive does not include first and last value in the calculation okay and then again you can uh, verify this that by using the quartile inc formula okay you can measure the minimum and maximum of the data look at this if i select the zero i can find out the minimum of the data when i go to the minimum of the data of to find the min of the data using the quartile exclusive function look at this when i select the data and then i press the comma there is no option for selecting the minimum or maximum value okay so this was the difference look at this again i am going to find the um, maximum value using the quartile inclusive formula 
look at this comma so if i select four there i will get the maximum value of the data okay look at this i will get 60. so this was all about how we can calculate the interquartile inclusive, quartile exclusive, how we can uh, find out the interquartile range, what is the difference between quartile inclusive and quartile exclusive. I have explained each and everything in this video. Hopefully you have liked this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, you can do comments. Further, my WhatsApp number and my email address has been provided in this uh, by the, in the description of this video. You can text or email me anytime I can uh, I will be available 24 by 7 for your help. Bye bye.